Hi everybody. Today I'm gonna make a biryani. It's a request from a lot of my friends and fam. Mm -hmm. So this biryani is inspired by a Sankaran Koil biryani that we had in 1970 when we went on a South India tour. It's like amazing, amazing biryani. I can never, never forget it. So what ingredients for the biryani? Mint leaves, one bunch. Coriander leaves, one bunch. I have six green chilies. Two green chilies for one cup of rice. I have totally three cups of rice. So I got six green chilies. Coconut, one cup. Ginger paste, two tablespoons. Garlic paste, two tablespoons. Thinly sliced onion. One large or two medium. 10 to 15 cherry tomatoes cut into half. Small onion, preferably Indian. If you don't, you can use shallots. I have uh, 10 small shallots. Lamb, 600 grams. I marinated it with two tablespoons of yogurt. 1 teaspoon turmeric, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder and 1 teaspoon salt. 3 cups of Kali Jeera rice or Jeera Gasamba rice. For 1 cup, 200 grams meat. So I have 600 grams lamb. Here I have 3 cups Kali Jeera rice or Jeera Gasamba rice. You can use Basmati rice too. I am going to soak it 20 minutes before I start the biryani in lukewarm water ghee or melted butter one cup refined oil here i am using sunflower oil one cup the spices are two bay leaves one handful of curry leaves you can use fresh i have dry cloves four to five cinnamon sticks two inch pieces two Star anise 3, 10 cardamom pods, 1 tablespoon fennel seeds. I am using leg of lamb. So with the leg bone, I made a stock uh, as much as I can. And I put uh, black uh, pepper, bay leaf, coriander, onion, garlic and I made a stock out of it. The next step, I grinded the coconut. So I'll be removing the milk out of the coconut. I grinded the mint leaves, coriander and green chilies. What I'm doing right now, I kept all the ingredients ready. And I'm trying to take the coconut milk, take coconut milk, okay. I put some hot water and grinded it. For one cup of rice, I have 200 grams of meat. Okay, so I have three cups of rice and 600 grams of meat. Rice is three cups. So we need six cups of liquid. So I have the stock that I made. This is the leg of the lamb, leg of lamb. I got so I took the uh, bone I made a stock I just put some black pepper coriander bay leaf and all that so I made a stock out of it then I grinded the green chili coriander and the mint okay so they're all good stove can't take this pan so I'm going to use the gas stove uh, the one I use for emergency and cook this one then you're good to go I marinated the lamb so I put yogurt 2 tablespoon for 600 grams of uh, lamb and I, I put 1 teaspoon red chili powder 1 teaspoon turmeric powder so it was marinating from yesterday so it's going to be very soft and it will cook very fast okay you don't need pressure cooking. everything is ready I rinsed and soaked the rice 10 minutes before is fine you don't want to over soak it 3 
cups of rice, six cups of liquid. The coconut milk, the coriander, mint, green chilies, grinded. I use some water to grind it. So everything with the stock, the bone stock, everything. Six cups, all ready to go. So now. I won't put ghee first. I'll put a little bit of oil because it can burn. And then I'm adding half the ghee now. Okay. I'm gonna put bay leaf, three star anise, cinnamon sticks. 10 to 2 cardamom, curry leaves, and fennel seeds. This is South Indian biryani inspired by Sankaran Koil biryani. <laughs> It was a very memorable trip. Happy memories. I can smell all the aroma. I'm gonna reduce it. I'm just gonna take the Sour anise, cardamom, and everything. I'll tie it in a cloth and put it in the biryani water. First thing you do is onion. Add this to it. Cloth. So I'm gonna put the spices I drained in there. I made like a pouch, so I can put it in the liquid. Otherwise, you will get the cardamom and uh, star anise and everything a lot. It won't be very good to taste that in between. You want to taste the rice. The small onion gives a amazing flavor, South Indian flavor. So now I'm going to add the tomatoes. Once you keep everything ready, it's very simple. This uh, cherry tomato is very flavorful compared to the regular tomatoes. So any flavorful South Indian stuff, I use this tomato. Then for sambar and rasam, this tomato is really good. Now, garlic, ginger, lots, two two tablespoons. Okay. So when you put the garlic and ginger, you won't don't want it to burn. So I'm adding a little bit of oil, another tablespoon of oil, so the garlic won't burn. I'll be adding salt and oil little by little as I go. Okay, little bit of salt for the masala. Now put my lamb in there. Lamb goes in there. So it takes like at least 20 minutes to half an hour for all this to come together. By the time the rice gets soaked, a little bit more oil. I know it's a lot of oil, but put a little bit of salt for the meat. So so far, I used three tablespoons of ghee, four to five tablespoons oil, and almost two to three spoon teaspoons of salt. As you go, you just add a little by little. Finally, when you pour the water, and then 
you put the salt when you taste it it has to be very salty the water the liquid that the, the rice is going to be cooking in should be very salty because it has to be like oh it's a lot of salt because the rice is going to absorb all the salt the meat the rice everything is going to absorb the salt i removed all the fat from the lamb that's why i'm giving it that much uh, fat i'm putting almost like half just a little bit water the onion every the yogurt it's all going to get some water anyways so you want all the liquid to be absorbed by the meat it will take another 10 minutes for the meat to cook really well so let's i'll come back and the meat lamb is cooked 10 minutes just cook a little bit more it will cook with the water you put the heat high i have five and a half cups of what liquid masala will be another half a cup we want the water to boil look at the green color and i'm pouring the rest of the ghee okay usually i have the rope to tie it up uh, for one cup of rice one teaspoon two teaspoons little bit more salt so 1 teaspoon salt for every cup of rice so 3 teaspoons i put i actually salted as i went with the meat onion everything now finally i added for the rice 1 teaspoon for each and every cup okay now you want the spice from this to really marinate season or do anything now i will um, the oven in broil 500 degree fahrenheit when you put broil in my oven it says 500 that's maximum but the heat comes from top so when the water boils really well going to drain the water from the rice bring all the rice no water you already measured this is the same technique for all the biryanis okay let the water and the rice come together i'm going to put in medium 5 to 10 minutes it will take for the rice and the water to get now the rice and the liquid is even it's hot but i want all the the rice is three fourth cup okay taste of the I'm going to put this for dum in an oven that is 500 degree Fahrenheit broil broil means the heat comes from top to down it goes in there oh. it's done oh, wow yeah. it's very hot it perfect yummy 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 biryani green color hot very hot <laughs> the this whole recipe is about the technique 
so you can do any kind of biryani any rice the measurement everything make sure whatever liquid you put you measure that with the rice so i usually do for one cup of rice 200 grams of meat if it's chicken you can put like extra but the meat has to be a little bit more compared to the uh, rice because the rice is going to fluff up see it's three cups of rice it comes so much so it has to be even or the meat has to be more than the rice when it comes to weight so and then the measurement is one is to two that's what i measured so and then for the dum in oven this is the technique i've been doing for a long time and another main tip is you need a wide pot three cups of rice has come in this whole kadai you know it's like big pot so it needs space to cook otherwise it will get mushed up because sometimes there is like new rice old rice so there's when its space is there it can never go wrong so you need a bigger pot so here you go let's taste the biryani oh my god the lamb is cooked so good tastes similar let's have to try this thank you so much everybody who has been watching and has been subscribing and if you like this video please share subscribe and comment i hope you guys enjoy